Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce the contingency leadership theory. First of all, this is the content of the whole part. First of all, what is contingency leadership theory? Contingency theory of leadership is a very special kind of approach which states that the success of a leader does not only depend on his abilities. There are many other factors relating to the work environment, company culture, and employees which impact a manager's success in the process of leadership. The history of contingency theory of leadership. Fred Friedler gave the contingency approach of leadership in 1958 during his research of leader effectiveness in group situations. He was of the belief that the success of a leader depends mainly on two factors, wise control of the situation and the manager's side of skills. Third part, basis of contingency theory. The basis of this approach is quite simple. It states that people with different abilities can perform better in their respective fields. For example, a person with all the relevant skills, education, and training in the selling of books will prove to be more successful in the field of books marketing rather than the production of laptops. Similarly, a manager has his own set of skills, abilities, ways, experiences, and pre preferences, which may not be successful universally in all the leadership roles. Next part, the functioning or the working of the contingency theory given by Friedler. The contingency theory does not suggest a leader adapt to a situation, rather the goal should match the leader's style. In order to make this theory effective, it is important to find what style a leader has. This is done through the method of least preferred co-worker scale, and LPC, a set of questions are asked by the manager. This is the type of workers the manager would like to work with in his leadership style. Then the model scores him according to his answers and analyzes his attributes. There are two results here. The first one is high LPC score and the second one is a low LPC score. Next, I'll introduce three more models to support this theory. The first model is um, Hersey Blanchard Situation Leadership Theory. This is also referred to as a situational leadership model. It is mainly determined by the level of maturity of your followers. The maturity level of your followers is determined by their task skills and motivational and motivation. The second model is the Pascal theory. This theory looks at the leader's style but puts emphasizes on the results coming from the followers. As a leader using the Pascal model, you have the basic responsibility of motivating your followers and giving them an assurance of their expectations. You will need to analyze the needs of your followers and adjust accordingly so as to be in a position to, in a, to effectively engage and motivate them. The last model is the Rumi Yatan contingency model. This is also referred to as a decision making model. Decision making is key uh, in leadership and to a large extent determines the relations between the leader and the followers. This, this relation has an impact on the leader's success. The last part is how this theory can be applied in Mount 21st century. Contingency theory has many applications in the organizational world. The first one, it can be used to assess the effectiveness of an individual in a particular role and look at the reasons for one's effectiveness in, or ineffectiveness. The second one, it can be used to predict whether a person who has worked well in one position in the organization will be equally effective in another position and have different situational variables when compared to the existing position based on the contingencies that make one style effective. Third one, it can help in implementing changes in the roles and responsibilities that management might need to make to bring effectiveness to the role. Or uh, of the person leading to this, leading the same. And that's all. Thanks for listening.